if you are sending an email, then an you know, email will go through a cloud of uh, uh, internet connections before it reaches its destination. And this is where the term cloud came from. Where do you define the computing cloud rather than the cloud? The internet really starts as soon as the um, information or data leaves your device. So it starts with your Wi-Fi, perhaps, connection uh, at home. This is the start of the cloud. But in terms of cloud computing, it really starts with the cloud providers or with your connection with the provider that will host your data in the cloud. So if you are, for example, using a spreadsheet within Google Documents, your connection to the cloud is the web browser. You author a spreadsheet on the web browser. It exists physically on a web page within your web browser. But as soon as your spreadsheet is saved, it travels through a number of internet connection to the destination into which it's stored. The best way to think about the advantages of cloud computing is to resemble it to electricity. Plug a device into an electrical socket, it just works. If you plug more devices, they get powered up and they work. Uh, and you do not really care how the electricity was generated. You do not care how it was transported. All what you need to do is to use it and at the end of the each month you get a bill that charges you for the amount of electricity that you have consumed. Now similarly with cloud computing you utilize the cloud resources to get things done. Uh, you use cloud resources in order to upload your uh, pictures into Apple's iCloud so that you can access it from anywhere. Uh, you use cloud resources uh, in order to do some word processing using Google Documents. Uh, and you can also use cloud computing to power a portal that allows you to order pizza. And you do not really care how uh, these data is stored. Uh, and you do not really also need to uh, understand or install any of the software that allows you access to this data. You do not need to upgrade it and you do not need to maintain it. This is taken care of by the uh, cloud um, uh, providers. Similar to electricity, uh, cloud computing provide elastic computing resources that can grow or shrink in accordance to your demand. So this demand might be very huge, so we need a lot of computing resources. Similar to the resources that the BBC requires to stream millions of simultaneous videos when viewers are watching a Wimbledon final. Or it can be a far smaller resource similar to uh, a personal website that you want to host on the cloud and that has only a handful of uh, visitors um, per day. Not all technologies that allow you to access data on the um, internet or the uh, uh, internet network are cloud technologies. For example, if you say that you have uh, your own storage space in the office or at home, and there is a facility that allows you to access your own storage space when you are abroad. This is not in the domain of cloud computing. It becomes cloud computing if the physical storage of your documents is not under your control or uh, in a physical space that you have access to. The uh, commercial use of the cloud predominantly makes use of the characteristic to be able to offer scale on demand. Perhaps the most fantastic example of that is, is Domino's Pizza. Uh, Domino's Pizzas for a long time now uh, have had a, an online resource that allows you to order pizza online. In fact, this year, 62% of the overall sales, the orders were completed online. The main problem is the fact that they have a very varied uh, demand on these online resources. It's very difficult for them to forecast 
the amount of resources that they will require day in, day out, month in, month out. A computing resource that can grow and shrink according to demand works absolutely perfectly. And this is why they migrated, if you like, their uh, IT uh, infrastructure from in-house uh, servers to host uh, the uh, online porters for pizza orders to the cloud or cloud computing.